You hear a knock at the door. You're expecting trick-or-treaters. But when you answer, no one is there. However, something is. A bone-white envelope with a crimson wax seal lying on the doormat. Picking it up, you look around for a delivery person. But you are met with only a blank stare of a jack-o'-lantern. On one side of the envelope is your name, handwritten in calligraphy. And the unmistakable imprint of a skull in the wax on the other side. You crack the seal and remove the contents. It appears to be an invitation, and it reads, The honour of your presence is requested for a haunted house party. At the old mansion, commonly known as the Grindhouse, tonight, all, all Hallows Eve, eight o'clock sharp. Come for food, drinks and ghosts. Stay for 12 hours and win 10 million dollars. Formal attire is not required. Please, RSVP is necessary. The host. You know this place, the old mansion on the hill was the scene of one of the grisliest murders in recent memory. Newly purchased by the mystery buyer, people go out of their way to avoid even driving by it. This must be the reality game show or something. But how did you get picked? Ten million dollars? You should at least check it out, right? What do you think? Should we check it out? Yeah. Of course we do. As you arrive... Are uh, they Canadian, Australian, or uh, US dollars? US. Australian's oh. worth nothing, and Canada's pretty much on the... <laughs> I'm joking. I try not to infuriate entire nations in, uh, in one street. Um, as you arrive at the mansion, decaying, the decaying throat at the front door, several pe other people are already awaiting with the same inquisitive yet confused look you must have. A few of them are holding invitations similar to yours. At precisely eight o'clock, a heavy oak door opens and a tall, narrow man in a tuxedo and a featureless white ma mask ushers you into the foyer. Once you're inside, he addresses the group. Thank you all for attending this evening. I am your host. His voice is deep and ominous. I promise the entertainment will be to die for. The front door slams shut and the heavy dead bolt slides into place on its own. You get the feeling that it's not, it's not the way out. Is there a way out? We'll see. So, tonight, who would like to play Jodie? Anyone? Yeah, sure. Okay. Then you're going to be play Jodie. You sold your soul uh, for a mobile phone and accidentally you broke your mobile phone instantly um, and you really want to get your soul back but the people that you sold it to are going to charge you uh, 10 million dollars funnily enough so you could really do with the money. Um, I'm just going to send you your roll card and your item card. Uh, carefully read it um, because it will determine how you choose to play the game. All right? It's handy. I'll make sure it's not on the camera. Oh. I'll read mine on here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. You can see you that. Okay. You need to uh, do you remember oh. that um, in this game, your maximum score is kind of already down on the map, uh, but your Persona card will give you additional points. Um, additional points at the end of the game if you're able to succeed what is on the card. If you die, don't worry. On your card at the bottom, um, there is a ghost roll. So you become a ghost and you haunt the rest of the players, okay? So you're not entirely out and there's still an opportunity to win the game as well. Um, who would like to be Evan this evening? Evan with his many cats. Yeah, I've fallen in love with his cats and their tumours. Oh, yes, so as you know, poor old Evan's cats, he's got 12 of them. 
Um, they're, they've, he, he forgot about a uh, food recall too late, unfortunately. And all these cats developed these awful, awful tumours. Um, and to, there is an experimental treatment, but it's going to cost an awful lot of money. So he's hoping to get the money needed. I oh, won't I need to move it over ever so slightly. Uh, to get his cats back fighting fit. If you have any problems reading it, just let me know. Because there is a little bit of glare going on with the light. And if any of your items are unusable, um, also do let me know. Because of the remote play, is what I mean. Okay, last one. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of minutes just to read your cards. Um, if they don't make sense or you don't feel you can play them like this, then do so and we'll change your character. Um, do you all have a set of dice? Um, virtual one, yeah. Fine. Ben, do you have a dice? You're on mute. We can't hear you. How many do I need? Uh, just one. Yeah, let me let me go grab one. Okay, no worries. enter the house. The host has kindly invited you along for this evening. And there's five rooms set out in front of you. And all you need to do is survive the five rooms, okay? Um, as you walk up, you enter the first room, which is the bathroom. And in the bathroom, it goes as follows. You hear the sound of rushing water as you climb down a ladder into a grungy bathroom. The overflowing toilet has caused grey water to flood the room up to the waist, up to your waist in height. What's worse, you notice multiple eel-like creatures swimming through the sewage. You can just make out a large hatch on the floor held by a huge rusty wheel. At least one survivor must volunteer to try and turn the wheel. Each volunteer rolls a die now. So between you three, who would like to turn the wheel? Yeah, I'll do it. You're doing it? Evan, eh? Okay, so everyone now roll their dice for me. Just everyone or just uh, just the person going to No, everyone. To everyone rolls the dice. That's what it says. I thought said all volunteers. Oh, sorry. Each volunteer rolls the die now. So, Sam, please roll your dice. Four. The smell of waste is overwhelming. You hold your nose to keep from vomiting. Eels swirl around you as you take a deep breath and plunge into the futile grey water. I had to go over the total of all rolls, then refer to the table below. What did you get, sorry? Four. Try to turn the wheel, but it is totally rusted and stuck. An eel wraps itself around your neck. Take one head wound. Any number of survivors may try again. 
Okay, so... Also, every time I, I volunteer, I gain three points. No. Where did you get that from? The card you sent me. Oh, does it? My persona. Well, maybe you shouldn't be telling people that. <laughs> Okay. I thought points were the, uh, or is the points the, uh, what you've got yeah, left? Yeah, 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 no, absolutely, but you, you need to be just secretly making a note of that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now people might not want you to volunteer, see? You've given the game well, away a little be bit. I'm not sure we could stop him. No, true. <laughs> no. So, well, I'm going to use my item as well, I think. Okay. So, Thieves Tools. Discard this card at any time to steal an unused item from another player. You may not steal an item after a player has declared they are using it. So which I, which person do you want to steal an item from? I'll steal Ben's item. Okay. Do, you, do I need to send him the photo? Uh, no, because yours is a join. <laughs> right. So I'll do that. Okay, thank you. I'll just edit it out of my photo. <laughs> yeah, right. You could have done, couldn't you? <laughs> Okay, so you've just gained an item. Okay. Um, but you still need to get through this. So, as a group, um, you need to be volunteering. More than one volunteer can volunteer on this. So, does anyone else want to try and we, uh, spin the wheel? I'll, I'll go for it. Well, I think we've got to go for it. But um, do we want to do it together? Is the question, I guess. Jody and Zara. Could have a go together. Yeah, I can, I'll, I'll go with you. Okay. Right on. Okay, so roll our dice. Yeah, please do. Uh, I got a four. Okay. And one. A one. All volunteers <laughs> try to turn the, the wheel, but it is totally rusted and stuck. An eel wraps itself oh, around the neck yeah. and takes one head wound. So. <laughs> it's not quite going to plan, is it? I'll be honest. Uh, no. Just... <laughs> um. I would suggest... Add together the total rolls, then refer to the table. All volunteers try to turn the wheel. You need to just keep going. Um, well, did you thanks. did you do mine? I did, yeah. What you, happened to me? Uh, you got a head wound as well, unfortunately. Um, at least one survivor must volunteer. Yeah, so I would suggest you all try and do it together. How does it work if we all do it together? You all roll your dice, all the dice rolls are added up, and then that number is used to determine what will happen to you. Well, they said they were going to do it together, so did you add it to they, five, or did you...? I added it to five, um, and they both took a head wound. Yeah. So my advice is everyone do it together. Okay. We've got at least six to change the story. All right. All right, then. I guess that's the only thing we can do. Good luck. Unless anyone's got some sort of magic item that will there. If you all something. roll ones or twos or a combination, <laughs> you're all dead. <laughs> so that's going to be a really Quick short game. game. Yeah. That's all right. Fingers crossed. All right. I'm going to roll. A four again. I think this dice is weighted. <clears throat> Incorrectly. Right. Five. Three. Okay. So 12 total. Yep. Yeah. You get it open easily, however, the rushing water creates a whirlpool and sucks you through the hole. All volunteers take two wounds of their choice, but you've succeeded. So, we'll start with Jodie. Where would you like to take two wounds, being sucked through the whirlpool? Uh, I guess, um, a leg and an arm. Okay. Uh, dealer's choice as to which one. <laughs> dealer's choice. We will go left arm, okay? You're still in one piece, uh, you're alright. Okay, that's my phone arm. Oh, Sorry, okay. it's broken anyway. 
Yeah, well, Sorry, it is, broken. yeah. There we go. There you go. Your cigarette hand. I thought your cigarette okay. was more, more, more important <laughs> than your phone, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, Evan, where would you like to take two wounds? I will take one on either one of the arms. Yep. And then I will use the item and get rid of the other one. Absolutely. So uh, for people at home, Sam has just played a mannequin card. Discard this card to, uh, to let the mannequin take one wound, uh, limb wound for you. So yeah, that's absolutely perfect. And Zara, where would you like to take your wounds? So I'm using my card to heal my head wound. Okay. Absolutely. So to explain what Zara's just done, she's used her antidote card. You may discard this card at any time to heal one injury of any survivor of your choice, including you. Does not regrow lost limbs. So you have just regenerated your health on your head, um, but you still have to distribute two wounds. Where would you like those to go? Uh, one arm and one... Sorry, I've already got two, two arms wounded, is that it? No, you know, you're absolutely safe safe houses at the moment, so... So, one arm and one leg. Perfect, there we go. Okay, so you guys make it into the next room, sucked through this whirlpool in the bathroom, and you arrive on the doorstep of the doll's house. So let's see what may happen here. You immediately feel thousands of eyes staring at you as you discover the room is literally covered in dolls. While some are pristine ceramic creations, others are missing arms, are burned, or are hanging in nooses. In the centre of the overstuffed room, there sits a large dollhouse, which looks identical to the grindhouse. You can see through the windows there are lights on inside. One player must volunteer to open the door. Who would like to volunteer to open the door? I'll volunteer. Why didn't you volunteer? You know what happens when you open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want points. I've already volunteered twice. I've got six points. I, I want to stay safe now. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll volunteer. Okay, Zara, you're volunteering. You bend over and open the doll's house door. <laughs> Inside, there are a series of dolls bearing a striking resemblance to the survivors. In the centre of the room, there is a single chair. Choose one doll to place in the chair and then roll a die. Refer to the table below. Which doll of which survivor would you like to place in the chair? Uh, Evan. Okay, so Evan's doll is placed into the chair. Please roll your dice for me. Two. Two. A glass dome descends from the dollhouse ceiling. Suddenly, the matching survivor starts choking and suffers two head wounds. Oh, sorry. Unfortunately, you Wait. have just <laughs> just suffocated, um, and you are you are proper dead. Okay, so. It doesn't say if it keeps going, so I think we now move on. Unfortunately, we leave Evan's bloody corpse um, in a glass dome. Pretty dead. But you've become a ghost, Sam. So at this point, you flip your Persona card. Um, and at the bottom of the card, you can start enacting that text. Um, and as Zara and Jodie wander through, continue there. There, search of the grindhouse, you enter the gym. Okay, you enter what appears to be a high school gymnasium decorated with balloons, streamers and disco ball. High school can be terrible, but there must be something more to this room. The empty dance floor suddenly fills with ghouls shuffling solemnly in rotten formal wear. They approach you and gesture for you to dance. Right on cue, the host appears out of nowhere. May I cut in? The survivor who is least injured is dancing with the host first. So Zara, that is you. Yee. 
All players, except the dancer, roll a die. I got a one. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> no, you're right. Oh. What happens? Um, that I can't tell you. Um, but the host would very much like to cut in and take you onto the dance floor, Jody. He's looking quite excited. So um, you are you are now dancing with the host. Um, Zara, would you like to roll your dice for me? Four. Absolutely fine. Oh, um, that's it. So you've had a wonderful evening. Um, the host is very content. Um, he felt you were very good dancers on the dance floor. So that's it. You you move on from the gymnasium, and you move into the the gallery. Just a clarification on the rules. Yeah. If there's if there's there's one person left and the others are ghosts, does it carry on or does it uh, stop? It carries on. Um, Until the, all three are ghosts. Yeah. There is. Yeah. There is. A wing can, there is something Sam can do as a ghost, but yeah. all it means is when it f refers to um, the player or the survivor and such like that, he doesn't get to roll the dice. No. But there may be instances and there may be rooms where it says, if any players are a ghost, do this. Um, okay. And on his card, he's he's got a little extra roll as well. Once per game, when the survivor makes a roll, that would result in their death, you may allow them to re-roll their die. If they survive at the end of the game, you win too. See? So he's got he's got a little bit of uh, an opportunity as well. So you step into the gallery. You step into a modern-looking art gallery and study the paintings on the walls. There are all portraits of your fellow survivors. Then you see your portrait. It's with... It's you, with your family at the park. You can even remember this moment when you were together and it sends a chill down your spine. The host appears with a rusty paint scraper in hand. I hope you don't mind, I've studied you all in the wild to best capture your spirit. But I think I have just one too many pictures for this wall. Starting with the first player, number each survivor clockwise around the table. Each survivor must secretly set their die pip, to the survivor they wish to kill. So Jodie, you're number one. Zara, you're number two. Okay. <laughs> so I wonder who you're going to set your dice pips to, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> it's all good fun. Um, so, all survivors reveal their dice simultaneously. Okay, three, two, one, shout at me, okay? <laughs> one. Two. <laughs> okay. Um, the survivor whose number comes up as the majority of the vote is immediately killed. If there is a tie for the majority, all survivors take one wound and must vote again and keep voting until one survivor... I... That's kind of unfair, isn't it? Let's be honest. I don't know. I don't know. If you want to play by the rules, that's how it is. <laughs> okay. I've so got. Yeah, I've got more. I've got more wounds than you, so you're gonna die I first. Think I'm, yeah. So there's no point. Uh, yeah. I suppose. Have you getting, got more uh, wounds than me? Okay. I think yeah. I got a head wound. I think. Yeah. You yeah. got a head wound. So if we're taking one every go, <laughs> that I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be heading off soon. <laughs> well, I'll. Uh... I can use my card to save them. Yeah. Which I'll happily yeah. do. So you want to kill If we both thing? choose one. <laughs> Which means they'll both die at the same time because I'll save him from one wound that would have killed him. Yeah, okay, so let's carry on. So so then before Sam does that, I'm using my <laughs> card. You can't before, I've already done it. No, but if you've done it now, we haven't rolled the dice enough for it to happen. But you don't need to roll the dice, you just need to say one, 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 no, Okay, one. but we, we haven't done it. I, I've had, I have the opportunity to use my cards. 
Use your card. Some, some which, card before which, I'm about to die. Which card have you got, is the question. The card where I can just decide that somebody dies. It's up to you. Do you want to reveal that card? Well, if that's going to save me, yes. <laughs> okay, so you reveal your card. Reasonable. Yeah, it does sound reasonable, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, so okay. Zara is the psychopath. Um, you look around the room and see frightened faces. Good. You begin to grin manically. Do you want to give her a little impersonation of that one? Um, <laughs> she thinks she does it pretty well. Yeah. Um, at any point during the game, you may reveal this card to instantly kill another survivor and gain three points. Okay, so you're going to kill Jody, I assume? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Jody, you have just been horrifically murdered. Um, Sam... You know my ghost power comes in, right? It does. Your ghost power does come in. But Sam, Evan, do you, does your ghost want to use its ability? Well, I'll, yeah, I will. I'll yeah. save him. But then he's going to... Uh, he's going to get killed again in a minute. But he's only going to have one wound left. Yeah, then I'm going to die anyway. So... Yeah, but we'll get her down to the point oh, where she's right? only got one wound <laughs> left and she'll die in the last room and lose. <laughs> So it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Te love. Technically, I don't know if this this applies because if we're playing by the rules, um, once per game, when a survivor makes a roll that would result in their death, he's Ben's not rolling. Yeah, there is no roll taking place here. Got um, me on a technicality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Jody is is head is exploded. I'm double dead. Double okay. dead. So, um... Is that the end of the room? It was, yeah. Um, can I, I can use my ghost power then. At the end of each room, you may wound one survivor already injured body part or one uninjured limb of your choice. Okay, so where would you like to hurt Zara? <laughs> so, would, would a limb include a head or not? Uh, Probably it not. It only says where they've already taken wounds. So, or one uninjured limb of your choice. Yeah, or an uninjured limb. Okay, let's just do the arm that hasn't been injured. Okay, absolutely. That's, that's yeah. valid. So you take a little bit of damage there. Okay, Zara, um, your comrades have fallen, but you make it to the dark room, okay? You're feverish. Feverish with anxiety and you just want to get out of this house now. You are frightened. You are panicking, let's say. You peer into the doorway of the inky blackness. It's so dark, it somehow seems to be swallowing all the light, as if it were a living entity. Even your breath feels like it's being sucked out of your chest and pulled into the room. A palpable sense of dread washes over you as you lean into the blackness. As you stick your head in, you notice a faint hiss and mist emits from within. A torch sits at the entry. Decide as a group, or Zara, just you decide, whether or not to light the torch. No. No? You, st you start to choke as poison gas. As <laughs> soon as you enter, your lungs burn. You fumble around to start to feel panic rising. If you don't find a way out soon, you will fixate and die. If the torch was lit, the room ignites instantly and explodes. Everyone dies. <laughs> if the torch was not lit, then each player selects a number from one to six as they fumble for the door. Okay, so choose a number between one and six for me. Four. Okay, over, uh, fumble for the door, over a series of four rounds. One player rolls one door die. Okay, so that's going to be me. The beholder is going to take that and I'll just read. Okay, so if I roll a four on this die, you escape. And I've got four attempts to do so. If you do not, if I don't, unfortunately you die. All right? Okay. Two. Oops. Two. Four. Well done. Yay! Oh. So, 
Zara escapes out of the room. Um, and you go home with $10,000 worth of, of cash. Well done, Zara. Thank you. It was and 10 million earlier. Oh, 10 million. It was <laughs> 10 million. Well, we had to give it out to the, the families of the deceased. The <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, so that's it. And you did it pretty well. So you've only got a damaged pair of arms and a damaged leg. You're, you're perfect. Well done. Yeah. Proper psychopath. It's all about being the psychopath. There we go. Well played. Well played. <laughs> well done. Okay. I would have won even if I, if I had died because it says if uh, there's no survivors, I win. Um, could yeah, I've got I've got that one of mine as well though. Uh. We didn't place one. <laughs> so we all win. <laughs> could someone do me a quick message? If you just pop to the Facebook group, uh, Carl has just messaged on it. Does someone ask him if he wants to join? Because if he does, he's welcome to. I don't know if I'm in the Facebook group. No, you're not. I meant, <laughs> I meant Sam. Well, no, that's that's not my doing. <laughs> Where did you go and see, anyway? Just down at the beach or over Cambridge? Yeah, just the closest possible place to my house. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, just walked down the hill and uh, jumped in, basically. Nice. It was a bit, a bit cold, though. Yeah. Not I think give, it a, it was give quite... it a couple of months and it'll be really nice. Yeah, it wasn't too bad when I dangled my feet in the water the other day. But... It's, yeah, it's refreshing until you put your head under and yeah. then it's... And then you've just got a head yeah, exactly. yeah, and you're like, oh, I could, I could just struggle through for five minutes, but... Oh, I don't know, I'm just so soft now. I'm not used to it. <laughs> no, I know. I've been in the house for too long. No. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're not we're not accumulated. We're not acclimatized to it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we've got another player coming in. Oh. Yeah. I don't need to do that. Hey, Carl. This is a bit dark we, now, isn't it? Can we do yeah, can we do a soundtrack change? Of course we DJ. can. Of course we can. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit much, isn't it? I get PTSD if that goes on any longer. <laughs> I'm really liking the midnight at the moment. Also a recent discovery. <laughs> I've just realised I haven't had my mic on. No worries, we can hear you now. You wouldn't believe how often that happens. Are we doing another one? It's up to you guys. Do you want to do another one at Grindhouse? One? Carl, would I don't you? Mind. You don't mind? I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay. Yeah, we can do another one. That's absolutely fine. But... It works really well over distance, I'll be honest. So. We'll swap out a couple of the players, so we'll have some different, different ones. So we've now got four players. We are getting rid of Jody and Evan, as they did die in the grindhouse. R.I.P. R.I.P. Damn it, phone. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> Trying to find ones that you haven't done. Um, Trying to remember all the ones that you've done is also quite a challenge, so I hope this is 
these ones are okay for you. Haven't really looked at them. But we'll see. Ooh. So if we move that over there so slightly. Okay, so the last room will be the kennel. The first room will be the workshop. The second will be the garden, the furnace, and just a normal hallway. Okay, doesn't sound too, too dangerous. Okay, don't need any of those. Zara as well. How have you been anyway, Carl? You okay? Yeah, I've been okay. I finished uh, uni yesterday. Uh, all eight exams from what not are finished. Oh, so. congratulations. When do you find out results and stuff? Uh, I don't find out until like July time, but I've already been guaranteed to pass on to next year. Oh, great. I knew you were, there were a few question marks, weren't there? So yeah. I'm glad that you got through it all, got it all sorted. How are you feeling about it all now? Well, now that I know that I'm going on to next year, I don't have to worry as much, thankfully. Oh, that's good. Did you do all your classes online then, since lockdown? Uh, yeah, uh, I did a bit of the calculus online. Thankfully, I managed to pass that. And it was literally just like, two tests left, one for calculus and one for statistics, and then we were done. So you're doing a math degree then? Uh, no, I'm doing environmental science, but they force you to do a maths module in the first year. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I have that with computer science as well, with an ACD maths. Yeah, it's horrible. Maths is cool. Funnily yeah. enough, I quit that course Stop after that one camp. year. <laughs> I think Corin should be Miguel because she's an accountant and he looks a bit like a prick. Hey. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Only Play nice, you two. Yeah, I yeah, know, I know. Gosh. Is that it? Accountants well, are, though, I'll be honest. No, I shouldn't say such a thing. Sorry? No. <laughs> that, that's just... why we need that. We need that to survive lockdown. Yeah, right. <laughs> I bet you. Been... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and get a drink. Yeah, no worries. Take <laughs> take your time. We've got a few minutes yet. I've got to sort out personas and stuff. No, I I'm, I must admit it's probably a busy time for your services at the moment because people don't know what they're doing. Um, certainly, mum and dad have been a bit worried about claiming their self-employed monies and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think nobody knows how all of this works at the moment. No, they don't. So they rely on people like you to get the information from. I'm not sure the government knows how it works either. <laughs> no. You kind of hope they do, don't you? But we'll see. Um, okay. Have you seen Boris? <laughs> He's actually a very clever man. He is a very clever man. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see. Okay. Good at manipulating people. Let's let's not talk politics on my stream, eh? <laughs> no. You know, you when know. you start streaming out to uh, bigger audiences, yeah, on, then, on then... And things, I'll I'll have to not swear as well. Well, um, I can put a profanity filter on on those streams. Yeah, don't worry, we we can still be as lively as we want. It'll just be bleep 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 bleep. <laughs> And just, is it live? That's incredible. Uh, I, well, there is a delay to it, so if you watch the video in the group, it's about a 20 second delay. Um, oh. But you guys don't notice it because you're playing. Okay. That's really clever. 
See, that's going to for me be like South Park, bigger, you know, longer, and I'm I'm just going to have to keep testing that filter to see what I can get to it. And they're going to have to be quite. Um, if you're going to put a filter on it that says we blank all profanities, you're going to have to over egg it, aren't you? You're going to have to blank out a lot of things. Yeah. Scunthorpe yeah. problem, they call it, isn't it? I think. Is it? You can't write Scunthorpe in some uh, search engines because of the, the word that happens to be in the middle of Scunthorpe. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> I think it's known as the Scunthorpe problem. Oh, right, okay. For that reason. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, I know my character name from World of Warcraft is no more allowed on any any Blizzard servers. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> not, I dread to think what it was. Yeah, we're not we're not going to go there. Um, okay, so I'm going to send uh, roles to people now. Okay. Okay. Um, if any of these don't make sense or you're unable to do them um, over distance, then do let me know, and we will pick pick new ones for you. <coughs> Should play the X Files. Say again. Should play the X Files music. My keyboard's all the way over there. Is there like a? T oh yeah. Sorry. Say again. What? I, I found what I was looking for. Okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna play something random. See what we get. So it's legendary. That sounds good. Sounds a bit dramatic. So you're Miguel for this evening. Uh, the accountant mm -hmm. looking. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Go for the head. Go for the head. <laughs> okay. Um, ben, you're going to be Alex this time. I've only read the name of the card, I've not read it any further whether it's possible or not, so do check this one. Um, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, Nina, who would like to be Nina? Out of you two. Let let I'll Carl choose. Let, uh, let Carl uh, choose. Do you want to be Carl, Nina? Do you want to be Nina or Zara, Carl? Uh, I'll be Nina then. Okay, uh, absolutely. Okay, I will give you that card there, with that card there. She looks sassy. You've got to give us your best sass all the way through. <laughs> yeah, we want you. Don't know how to do sass. We want it narrated <laughs> in character, okay? Okay, here we go. Tell you later. Carl, you've played this before as well, haven't you? So you know what yep. you're doing. Cool. <coughs> you know, that's one of the no. You have it. I only have too many. <laughs> I don't think that one is for this set, so... Samuels is inbound. Thank you. It's quite epic. I think it goes goes with it in some some way. So just read your cards. Take a few minutes to try and understand it, um, and we will we will get started in a second. Let's see if anyone else is commenting and stuff for a minute. quite like this. I'll start listening to this. Oh, 
How are we all doing? Do we Thank understand you. our characters? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got another Look. another photo to take though for me. Another... So I have to reveal my my persona card right at the beginning. Okay. Fine. Are you doing that right now? So, for anyone watching, we the survivors have just reached the grindhouse and we're about to get stuck in. Um, I won't do character inter interact. Well, no, I'll do the two for Miguel and Alex, and then Sam, if you reveal your card, then we'll go yep, from there, okay? Uh, Miguel, you have a gambling addiction. To make matters worse, you're terrible at, at it. You found a high-stakes poker game run by the mob, and you thought you could finally be your chance to get rich quick when you saw you had a king high straight flush you went all in with 10 million dollars the 10 million hand putting up the family as collateral you lost the mob have given you two weeks to come up with the money else your whole family will be paying the price alex you saved up for years to be able to buy the house of your dreams the day after you moved in your oven caught fire and it ended up burning down not just your new home, but also every other house on the block. Your joy of home ownership has quickly turned into a nightmare. As you have been deemed financially responsible for the destruction of the entire neighborhood. Okay. And you're revealing a card. Am I right, Sam? So you're Zara? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to reveal my Persona card, yep. Okay. Therapist. You pride yourself on having a deeper understanding of the human psyche. Nothing you have ever studied has quite prepared you to be able to grasp what could drive someone to create this house of horrors. Reveal this card at the beginning of the game. You may look at all other players' Personas and may force one of them to discard their persona and draw a new one. Interesting. Okay, so I am going to take a photo of all the cards. Don't tell him who car whose cards is who, because... So well, he's, he's, he'll, he would know. So I'm <laughs> going to do them in order, okay? Yep. Why would you know? Well, because if I was in the room, I'd mm. take them from you one by one. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we know whose cards he's going to, to, to remove. Well, we don't The one that's yet. the most dangerous to me. Well, you don't know. You don't know what they all are. But I will put them back in the order in which I pick them up. And don't call out the one you want to discard, Sam. Just message me which one you want to remove, okay? Well, um, while Sam's doing that, what's the rules on the... Um Body injuries. I know head injury is obviously terminal, and then yeah. main body is terminal. Yeah, and everything else you can you can lose your limbs, matter. lose your legs. Yeah. So um, there's two two hits you, on the body, you're dead. Two hits on the head, you're dead. Got it. Done. Okay. Your limbs are sense. expendable. I, uh, I realised something quite amusing the other day. Now where I'm living, in the woods, a cabin, um, and I've got a Jim Hopper outfit. So um, I thought that could be quite amusing at some point. <laughs> <laughs> or you want to tell his delivery man? I've no <laughs> idea who Jim Hopper is. Uh, policeman from Stranger Things. Oh. And he lives in a cabin in the woods. Uh, I don't know why I was. I was thinking more like the film cabin in the woods than Stranger Things. No, it's uh, it's not that creepy. <laughs> I think you should uh, yeah. you should use that box that Ego game that I got 
for you. Um, yeah. Have a photo of you burying it in the woods for her. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, my squirrel's getting quite quite fat. And uh, apparently they taste quite nice. I just... <laughs> I've got a squirrel that visits me every single day. Um, and he's mental. He runs up and down the windows right. and everything. But he's getting quite podgy because I feed him. Are you sure it's the same squirrel? Or yes. do you just see a squirrel? <laughs> 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 it's the same squirrel. Um, because How do you he's... Know? What does he wink at you or something? <laughs> <laughs> he's got like... Um, a big like... fluffy tail. Glasses no. on. <laughs> <laughs> little outfit. <laughs> he's got like a little bit of warm fur in, in like a little patch on his on his body. And it's the same one, oh, you know? Yeah. So he's uh, easy to identify. Okay. We had uh, a few yeah. days What's ago... A... I've sent you the one I want to get rid of. Okay. A few days ago, I was in because I work okay. um, next to the garden, so I can see the garden all the time. And I saw a massive fox cross our garden and jump over the fence into the yeah. neighbor's garden. That was interesting. Yeah, I can imagine. I saw a badger. It was it got it was coming up the path towards me, a little single track like a cliff path. Um, and it was it got within about five feet of me before I realised I was there. I was kind of <laughs> hit, I kind of made myself as as small as I could in the hedge, so it might not notice me. And it looked, stopped me, looked at me, turned around, bolted the other way. It was amazing. I've never seen a badger that close before. That is quite cool. Okay, you've still got the same item, uh, but your persona has been changed. Is that Miguel? Yes. Oh. And I've just sent you your new card. Sammy. You were too dangerous. How was I dangerous? How were you dangerous? Well, I won't say any more. <laughs> okay. I need to read it now. Okay, I'll give you a minute. It's fine. Oh, no. You've got nice lighting going on, um, Ben. Is it just your computer screen, or have you got a separate uh, light? It's just computer monitor here, and the uh, I'm right in front of the window. Ah, oh, right, okay. Just got the, the evening light coming in for ambient light. Nice. And then I guess this is mostly white, because I've got you in a window. <laughs> Fair enough. Brilliant. Haven't put my, uh, my full four-point lighting set up. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I, I was wondering if you'd gone above and beyond. No, my <laughs> eyes would be twinkling more if I'd put my proper lighting out. Yeah, true. Okay, are we all ready? Yeah. Okay, so... The first room which you enter is called the workshop. The host greets you as you enter the abandoned... Hello, Nick. Abandoned sweatshop. Rusted sewing machines lie dormant and decaying throughout the room. An old hunched woman with a rusty sewing needle shuffles up next to the host. She whispers something in his ear, and you swear she points right at you. The host speaks up, My friends, your companion does not look well. Why don't you lend him a hand? Don't get any extra parts. The old woman croaks. You'll have to supply them yourselves. Most wounded survivors may choose another survivor's uninjured limb. They sever that limb and add it to their own body, replacing a lost or injured limb of their own. If no survivors are missing limbs, each survivor selects a limb of any other survivor, starting with the first player and going clockwise around the table. They sever that limb. Okay, so Miguel, whose limb do you want to sever? Um Sam. Sam? There's no Sam on there. Sorry, uh Nina. No, Zara. You're Zara. Zara? I'm not telling you who I am. <laughs> yeah, Sam Zara. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you Zara, you have just lost an arm. Alex! Who do you want to... Uh, 
let's let's take off uh, Zara's leg then as well, please. <laughs> Sorry, Zara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Nina, whose limb would you like to sever this evening? Let's take Alex's arm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. And, and I'm, I'm going to reveal my card, and I'm going to save one of uh, Zara's limbs. Is this your item card or your persona card? My persona persona card. Okay. Okay, so you need to reveal this card, which I'm going to do, and I'll read it. Uh, Miguel is the martyr. I will save everyone tonight, even if I have to die trying. If you reveal this card once per room, you may take an injury in place of another survivor. At the end of the game, if all players are alive, you gain 10 points. Okay, so that one's been revealed, and you're going to kindly remove one of the seven limbs from Zara. And now it's Zara's go. Whose limb would you like to sever this evening? He's thinking about it. He's being very tactical. Take one of Nina's legs. Nina's leg? Okay. I know you didn't. <laughs> didn't. Weren't you supposed to give me? Uh, so, because I, I, I need to take the injury on behalf of Zara, so you need to... If you reveal this card once per room, you may take an injury in place. Yes, okay, sorry. So you have lost your arm, Miguel. Okay. Is it, isn't it... Uh, have I lost it, or have I, is it just injured? No, uh, well, this isn't... We're not doing injuries, it's sever or nothing. So okay. I Fair assume enough. that computes over to, to your special ability. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, Are we all happy? Me. So, Hi. Alex is just, you know, one hand. Miguel's one hand. Nina is hopping about, and so is Zara. Okay, next one. You head to the garden. You step into a corn maze. The plants around you grow so high that you cannot see over the great green walls. Somehow, Entering into this narrow corridor makes you more claustrophobic than being indoors. Survivors form into a line. Determine your order now. Use dice to keep track of your chosen order. Okay, so we're going into an order. What order would you like to go in? Who would like to go, first? go first? And you're Alex, yes? Number one. Yeah, so that's set to number one. Okay, who would like to go behind Alex? I'll go. Okay, you are number two. And behind Miguel? I'll go behind Miguel. Okay, you are number three. And Zara, you are following up the rear as number four, okay? As you make your way further into the maze, you hear the sound of something rustling nearby. From the back, one person is able to notice a giant snake slivering by them. It seems to be heading for the survivor in front. The survivor in the back of the line must roll a die to warn the survivor in front of them. The next survivor in line rolls the die and needs a result equal to or higher than the previous roll, consider one and six next to warn the survivor in front of them. This continues up the line until the first person has been warned. If everyone, anyone fails, I won't read any more of that. So, first one, Alex, roll a dice please. I'm at the front of the line though. Shouldn't it be? Shouldn't oh, be sorry, at the line? back of the line. So Zara, you got a three. Okay, so Nina, you need a three or above. He's finding a dice, I suspect. He's got a giant one. I don't. I'm not quite sure. 
Kyle. <laughs> Just getting dice, sorry, I didn't realize. That's alright. I can well, roll for you if you want, but... Uh, could you roll for me for this one, please? Yeah, of Sorry. course. Okay. You've just rolled a six. Or should we just wait two seconds and let him roll? Uh, I don't mind. Fine. Yeah? <laughs> but that's good, isn't it? Because it means that that goes back around to one. Is that what that's meant then? No, it, it doesn't mean that, so that's what I thought it said six and one are considered to be next to each other. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, consider one and six next to each other. Towards one survivor in front of them. This continues. Okay, so you've got basically... You get a six or a one. Is that right? No, we're a one or above now, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it's my turn to... Yes. Move. But if you get a six, then you fail. Yeah. Uh, okay. Five. Okay, so that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Now, this is going to be tough, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, Ben, you have to... i got to, I've got to roll a five or above, is that right? Yeah, five or, or a six. A six, basically. Three. Okay, so... This th continues up the line until the first person has been warned. If anyone fails, the snake attacks the first person in line, dealing them two torso wounds. So, unfortunately, Alex, oh. you is have... Is that fatal? That is fatal. So the snake has had his fill of you. I, I will take one of his wounds. Okay, so... Oh, that's very good of you. Thank you. You're you, welcome. Miguel, you take one wound to the chest. She must be doing it for a reason. She must be getting points for this. Maybe. Maybe. It's just that I like being a martyr. Got your dice, Carl? Yeah, cool. they managed to fall behind the side. Okay, never mind. Okay, so you, you've survived the garden, you've come out of the, the maze, you're all okay, and you head to the furnace. You find yourself some sort of huge boiler room with rattling and steaming pipes running in every direction. A horde of faintly blowing figures are slowly shuffling your way. As they get closer, you see them look like people, but are covered in blisters and horrible burns. Each player must secretly choose an action on a die. Uh, one, throw a survivor of your choice at the horde so you can escape. Two, try to run past the creatures. Or three, prefer to defend yourself. Okay, so starting with all of you, first of all, set your die pips um, to what you want to do. Between one and three, those were your three options. Can Does you that make sense? Options? Yeah, of course. Number one, throw a survivor of your choice um, at the horde so you can escape. Two, try to run past the creatures. And three, prepare to defend yourself. I say we let the martyr take it. I'm going on. So have you all set yours secretly? Yeah, secretly. No discussion. You done? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The glowing, oozing horde comes lunging at you. Their hands scale you at the slightest touch. Um, their hands scale, 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 I can't burn you um, at the slightest touch. I can't pronounce that this evening. Chaos in, yeah, that's what I mean. Chaos in short ensues as you all try to survive. Sci survivors reveal their dice one at a time, uh, starting with the first player moving clockwise. The results of your die choice are as follows. Miguel, what did you choose? Two. 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 You try to rub past the horrors, but their hands burn you like hot knives. Take two limb wounds. Okay, so where would you like to take your wounds? Uh, one arm and one leg. Okay. Perfect. And Alex, uh, you're still alive, yeah? Yeah, Alex? What did you choose? Also two. Two. 
Uh, you try to run past the horrors, but their hands burn you like hot knives. Take two limb wounds. What two wounds would you like to take? Can I, um, can I lose a leg, please? Yes, you can. Any preference, left or right? That was it, yeah, the one you had. Okay. His left, our right. Okay, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> and Nina, what was your dice? Uh, three. Ooh. You are no match for the burning creatures. Take no, three don't. wounds unless another survivor tried to sacrifice you. In which case, you take no wounds. Okay, so before we resolve your Zara, what did you choose? Two. Oh, you oh. boring lot. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's go back to Nina. Um, Nina, um, you take three wounds. Where would you like them? Uh, let's lose an arm. Lose an arm, okay, yeah, fine. And then a wound on a leg and an arm, that way I've still got the ability to hobble around and... <laughs> yeah, you're still in one piece. Just I can do be sassy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not going to tell you that in case you play it again. Um, but yeah, it was quite funny if you... Uh, if you chose number one. Um, okay, so you're all still in the game. This is tense. This is exciting. You didn't give Zara. You didn't give Zara. Uh, I didn't. So wound. you've got two wounds, Zara. Where do you want them? Um, can my item card be used at this point? Let's have a little look. Yes, it can. Completely. So who do you want to... Uh, Zara has just played Scapegoat. Um, if you take wounds... From a single effect, discard this card and choose another survivor to take those wounds instead. So who would you like to deflect those wounds onto? Miguel. Okay, Miguel, <laughs> where would you like it? One of your legs damaged? <laughs> where would I like it? Um... Keep it clean. <laughs> Anywhere else? Um... Lose an arm? Lose, lose a leg? Yeah, lose, lose, a, lose my other arm and one leg. Uh, no, yeah, you're alright on your leg, so it's just one more wound. So you've okay. lost an arm. Okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you need um, a hand there? And, um... So what do I have left? I've got one, two uh, You've got two beaten up legs, and okay. your head is unwounded at the moment. Yeah, and uh, yeah, okay. And wh what about everyone else? Everyone else. Um, Alex has lost an arm and a leg, but yeah. and a little bit of body damage. Uh, Nina has one damaged arm and lost one arm and one leg and a damaged leg. Um, and Zara is only hopping around on one leg. Other than that, she is absolutely fine. Okay. So I can only take injuries that people have taken in this round, right? Uh, yeah, the time, you may take an injury in place of another survivor. Yeah, but you should have declared it. We will backtrack a little bit um, if you want to, but you need to declare it when they take the wounds. Uh, okay, sorry. Well, no, no, that, that's, that's absolutely fine. true. Uh, if, if, you want, if we all agree, then you can do it. No, because she only wants to do it to benefit herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not nice players, are you? Okay. No, we're not. Well, I'm only one voter. There's other people in the room. Yeah. So. No, let, let, let's, right. let's 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 do the let's do as uh, should that be. As much as I want to agree with you, I can't. I agree with your friend there. <laughs> I'll <Okay>. abstain. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll, I'll I'll know next time to uh, interview to use when. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I should have said that. Okay. You're all still alive at this point, and you make it to the hallway. Okay. You step into an incredibly narrow hallway. There is only one room here to form a single file line. The floor is checkered in black and white tiles. Scorch marks line the walls, yet the floor looks suspiciously clean. You take a step forward and feel the floor depress with a faint click. Well, that doesn't sound promising. All survivors 
decide how uh, decide now in what order they will cross the room using dice to keep track of the line order so same as the maze um, who would like to go first I'll go first okay who would like to go second I'll go second okay who would like to go third I'll go third before Ben comes off mute <laughs> third and Alex you are going fourth okay no worries <laughs> you quickly realize the room is covered in landmines you each take turns stepping carefully across the room making sure you follow in the footsteps of those who went before you all survivors must cross in the order chosen <laughs> The first survivor in line must roll a number of times equal to the number of players. Okay, so you're going to have to roll four times. Second survivor must roll one fewer time than the previous survivor. So you, um, Nina, you roll three times. And then Zara... No, sorry, Zara rolls three times. No, I did have it right. Nina. Yeah, Nina three times. Zara... Two times, Miguel once. Okay. Alex once. Alex once. Alex once. Yes, even. Miguel four. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so starting with Miguel, please roll your dice for me four times. So three. Three. Fine. Nothing happens. Next. Four. Fine, nothing happens. Next. Six. Fine, nothing happens. Next one. One. Lose a leg. If you have no legs, take a torso wound. So you've just had your leg blown off. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Nina, roll your dice three times, please. Two. Nothing happens. Roll again, please. One. Your leg has just been obliterated oh, as you no. step on a landmine. Okay. Two. Two, you're fine. You are pulling yourself along with your one <laughs> arm. And that was three rolls, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, so Zara, two rolls for you. Five. Fine. Next one. Three. Absolutely fine. And Alex. Three. Yeah. You're absolutely fine as well. So you make it across, following the footsteps um, of the example made by Miguel, um, and you all reach the kennel. Okay. It's the last final room. Fluorescent lights cause you to squint as you make your way into a puke green um veterinarian i can't vets um office veterinarian. yes that's it um stacks of dog cages line the walls all the way to the high vaulted ceiling several cages are home to creatures that don't look like dogs don't look like dogs you've ever seen they are hairless snarling beasts covered in scabs and tumours and bizarre spiny growths. The guttural growls cause you to fight back a wave of panic. The host raises from his desk and asks, which one of these lucky dogs gets to eat tonight? The host points to the ceiling where there is a ladder marked exit. Survivors must climb the cages the wall is three stories tall. Once a survivor has successfully climbed three stories, they escape. Each survivor rolls a die and adds one for each healthy arm. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with Miguel. Um, so please roll your dice first of all. I don't have a healthy arm. Yeah, so you don't add anything. Yeah, you, yeah it's fine. <laughs> You still try and climb. You're hopping up. 
fall. A dog nips through the cage at you. Take one limb wound and climb one story. So you have just lost your leg. Yep. Okay. And roll again for me. Four. Um, a dog nips through the cage at you and you take one limb wound and climb one story. You can't take any more white wounds to your limbs, so I assume you're okay. Roll once more for me. Four. <laughs> and same again. So you make it out. I don't quite understand how you climbed three stories of cages with no arms and no legs. Well, you're, just, you're just using your teeth to slowly... Yeah. Yeah, to try and bite your way up there. Um, moving, oh, on to, moving on to um, Alex. I'll get rid of these dice. They're from last turn. Alex, over to you. Uh, please roll your dice. Two. Two. You lose your grip and fall to the fall to the floor. Take two wounds and start again. Uh, okay, so that's uh, um. Actually, sh I've, I've got an arm, so shouldn't I add one? Shouldn't shouldn't I add one to my arm? Because of my arm, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yes, yeah. You have got one arm, haven't you? So you rolled what? Sorry, four. So it was a so I rolled a two, so that made it into a three. Okay. You lose your grip and fall to the ground and take two wins. <laughs> um, so exactly the same. Okay. You do have so an let's... item, by the way. I need to stress I this. I know, I know. That's right. Okay. I'll, right. Uh, I'll, I'll take off... Uh... A little bit of damage to a leg and, a, leg and an arm? Yeah, go on then. Okay. And that goes to everyone. Do check your items. If you've got them, this is your final, final room to use them. Okay, please. Hey, next one. Yeah, roll again for me. Two. Two. And you still got a healthy arm, haven't you? Um, but you still lose your grip. So that's three. So can I use my item now? You can. To bump that up at one more, because my item says I can. It does indeed. So you've got the silver coin. Discard this card after a die is rolled to change the total either up or down by one. You may not turn a one into a six, or vice versa. Okay. So that's. So you just rolled a four. I've got four. I Dog guess. nips through the cage at you. Take one limb wound, and climb one story. So which, which limb? So let's let's take off. An arm. <laughs> and. Are you sure about that? <laughs> because you get plus one for arms. I yeah, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play my okay. um, Persona card as well. Okay, so you've just lost your arm. Yeah. And you want to play your Persona card now? Well, I've got to take... and and hang on. You've got one so more... i to take two. Yeah, take my Persona, play my Persona, and I'll... My Persona says I have to instantly lose a limb, right. which is my leg. That's the one remaining one. Okay, so your Persona is Stump. For some reason, you have always had a fetish to live without arms and legs. Of course, you never had the nerve to go through with it. Perhaps tonight is the night. Reveal this card at any time to instantly lose a limb. At the end of the game, if you have lost all your arms and legs, you gain 14 points. So, what do you want to lose? So, I've only got one leg left, so that's, that's off. It's gone. Yeah. So, okay. I am now a stump. You are now and I've, a stump. And I... What floor am I on? Have I got a two? You've got one more roll. Got one more roll. So if I can, if I can make my way out, yeah. then uh, I'll finish the game as a stump. All right, ready? Four fail miserably. Ah, two. <laughs> <laughs> you lose your grip and floor to floor. Take two wounds and start again. You can. Oh no. I'm taking. So I'm taking. Uh, you can't. You're out. No, I'm not out. You've escaped. Yeah, I thought I can still take wounds from people. Yeah, you can. You still take. Do you? So I'm taking one me. of the wounds. Okay. Okay, so that means I can take one head wound and I'll still be alive, won't I? Yeah. Yeah. That is, that's the, li but can that's I... the limit there. Yeah, no, and that's I'm, true. I'm... But um, just... And I'm on the floor. Yes, exactly. So you've got to do it three times again. <laughs> so three, three sixes in a three row. Three sixes. See what happens. Three. 
Okay, Not so big. no. So the dog nips through you, take one limb wound. Well, you've got no limbs, so I think you're okay on that. Roll again. Hey, someone. You could still do it. Four. Fine, next. Do one more roll. Oh. You're okay. You're out. Yay, roll. Okay, stump. Nina. I'm going to make, Thanks to take a huge risk here and discard my item. Because <laughs> if okay. I'm correct, I yeah. can use this item to guarantee the next year rolls if I get it to be sixes. Please roll your dice. And then I'll tell you what the item is. Because you know, but the rest don't. Four. Four. And okay, so uh, Nina had a flamethrower. Uh, discard this card at any time to use this item. Roll the die to determine the result. One to three, it explodes and you take four <laughs> wounds. Uh, four to six, you may decide the outcome of any two dice rolls. In this I'd room. like my next two rolls to be sixes, please. Yep, yeah, okay, so you climb two stories. Um, please roll your dice once more for me. One. Oh, so it's a two because he's got an arm left. Yes, so yeah. it is a two. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so he falls to the floor and starts again. He does indeed, doesn't <laughs> he? Yeah. Oh, it. So it was good, but not good enough. <laughs> You lose your grip from floor to floor. You've got to take two wounds as well. Where do you want it? Um, <clears throat> well, I haven't taken any chest or head wounds, so... In order to keep my arm, so I still get the plus one, I take so if one you keep head... Your, if you don't have any limbs, then the, uh, the, the, the dogs can't catch you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's I guess point. I'll lose my arm then. Yeah, okay. Your arm is off, but you've still got one more wound to take. Where do you want to take that? Uh, I'll take your chest then. <coughs> okay, there we go. And roll your dice for me. Five. A dog nips through the cage and you take one limb wound. But you're okay, because you've got no limbs. Roll again for me. Two. My... You lose your grip and you fall to the floor. Take two <laughs> wounds and then start again. So uh, you're going to be dead, unfortunately. I'm dead. You are. So two and th when I die, um, I assume I have to reveal my persona? Yes. Uh, so your pers do you want to read it to everyone or would you like uh, me to read it? You can read it. Okay. Uh, you are the lawyer. Uh, you have survived your entire life based on your ability to convince others that you are right. Tonight, you will have to make the case that you are worth keeping alive. Reveal this card if you are forced to be a volunteer in a room. You may choose any survivor to be a volunteer instead. If you are able to survive the night without revealing this card and never be a volunteer for anything, score plus two points. When you die, make a case why one survivor de deserves to live at the end of the game. If the survivor you argued for ends up living, you win too. Any time a volunteer must be chosen in a room, you may choose which survivor volunteers. That's quite cool. Okay. I believe Zara should live because she's the only person that isn't... She's still got limbs. Okay, I think the room is convinced by your argument. Yeah, um, sounds fair. Yeah? Okay, and it's Zara's go, so... And then add two to it, because I've got two limbs. Okay, so... yeah, you got eight, so you climb one story. Six. Uh, you you climb two. one story. Three. Uh, you fall to the ground and take two damage. Uh, Where do you want it? One chest, one head. Okay. One oh, chest, oh, 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 oh. one head. Okay, and roll your dice for me, please. Seven. Yep, yeah, you're fine. Nine. You climb one story. Four. Four. Uh, dog nips at you and you take one damage. Where would you like to take that? leg 
Okay, and roll once more for me. He just got one, didn't he? No, no he really adds. So four again. Four. You'll you take one damage. Where would you like to take that? Arm. Uh, an arm. Okay, but you do survive. <laughs> Yay! So, unfortunately, we lost Nina to the to the kennels. <laughs> um, but everyone else is very much alive this evening. Um, so in this situation. Remember your special rule. Um, also, start adding up the points on your board here. So, um, Miguel, you've got one point for your head and one point for your body. Okay, just make a note of that for a minute. Alex, you've got one point for your head, one for your body. Um, Nina, you are completely dead. Um, and Zara, you've got one, two. Oh, I put this the wrong way around, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points on your on your card. Now add any special abilities or any extras, and then we'll work through it. I worked so hard for you, Nina. And you disappointed me uh, at the last minute. <laughs> I got I got fourteen extra points for being a stump at the end. So I'm on sixteen points. Sixteen to Alex. Okay, Miguel. I would have had ten points if everybody was alive. Ah. Uh, oh. Ouch. Ooh, so you got two. Um, <laughs> Nina. Um, yeah. If the survivor yeah. you argued... No, 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 no. If the no, survivor... I win two. Yeah, okay, that's if you win two. And Zara, what have you got then? Just six. Just six. Oh... <laughs> So Nina and Zara do not win, and Alex, you win with a whopping 16 points. You no, are... So Nina and Alex win, because all I had to do was survive for Nina to win. I didn't have to win, it just says if the survivor you argued for ends up living, win, win too. Yeah. There you go. Nina argued... Oh, if you manage to... Nina argued that Zara should live, and Zara lived, so yep. Nina wins. With, as a ghost. With so, Alex. yeah, <laughs> Nina, as a ghost, wins, and Alex, as a stump, wins. So, yeah, that's the end of the game. We can argue Woo! who's in a better position. Yeah. Than... <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, wow, that was brutal, wasn't it? <laughs> that, was, 